In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create Northern Lights animation effect in PowerPoint. As you can see here, I have added this a background image and you can see the far you can see some mountain and then I would like to do or show the Northern Lights behind the mountains, okay, the mountain range. So how it works is when I click, you can see here I have added this particular a kind of a Northern Light and I've added a um, animation to it okay so depending on your requirement you can change or you can increase or decrease this animation effect or you can give some different color combination as well and if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon you can join my telegram group with the help of this qr code and if you like to contribute to my channel you can do it through paypal or patreon so let's start the tutorial to create the northern light effects we need to add one picture here you can see here this particular picture i have added uh, from the powerpoint itself so you need to go to insert pictures select online pictures for this you need to have an active internet connection and you can just uh, type any picture uh, of your choice and once you add it close that one and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to cut this picture into one more uh, the bottom part only i'm going to keep the top part i'm going to remove the background for that first right mouse click and say duplicate slide come to this slide select the picture go to the picture format and crop it and bring it down till the mountain level like this and whatever you're seeing which is on the top of the mountain i would like to make it clear make it transparent only the bottom part has to be there for that let me just select the picture go to the picture format and remove background and you can see here whatever it's purple color it's uh, that particular area is going to go so i don't want that to happen i want all the one which is below the mountain uh, uh, until the mountain it should be visible and on top of the mountain it should not be for that there are some few options here mark areas to keep mark areas to remove so i'm going to choose the mark areas to keep and i'm going to just drag it like this you can see here now mountains are visible let me just click it here and here also and you can see sometimes some mountains will not be visible make sure that it has to be visible like this and here also all right and bottom part uh, no need if you feel that uh, i mean it will not make any much impact but anyway let me just see whether it's working or not i think this is going okay let it be like this no issues and then say keep changes so we end up getting a shape something like this now copy this one control c or control x let me just do a control x come to our main slide where we have added this picture and control v and put it exactly on top of our existing image okay don't make it like this or like they put it exactly on top of the image here okay. why i'm doing that one i will tell you later so now go to the blank slide go to insert shapes now you're going to design the northern lights okay so for that let me just select the rectangle draw a rectangle maybe this much size you can see here shape outline make it no outline shape fill you can just choose this uh, particular teal color or any other color of your choice then right mouse click edit points you can see the four points are there from the center i'm going to bring the cursor like this it should the cursor should be visible i mean it should change like this then right mouse click add point and drag this point downwards okay something like this then i'm going to give a soft adjust for this one right mouse click go to format shape go to the effects and from the soft edges i'm going to make it 25 all right again you can reduce the width it should look something like this you can see here now i'm going to duplicate this by pressing ctrl d and then just add it like this again ctrl d ctrl d you need to just add like this you can see here we end up getting a shape like this now i'm going to select again all or you can press ctrl a also to select all ctrl g to group it ctrl d to duplicate it and then just add it next to like this okay again this side also i'm just going to add it here so we end up getting a shape like this so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to select all these shapes press ctrl g to group it ctrl c to copy come to our uh, main slide ctrl v to paste and put it here and remember we have added one more image here select that one and bring to front 
so it looks something like this you can see here our northern lights looks like this which is behind the mountains otherwise if we don't keep it look like this okay the mountains will not be visible so that's the reason i have added this particular uh, image here i have cropped that image and i have added in the front now once this is done we need to do some animation effect and if you want you can add some uh, different color combinations as well now let's do the animation close the format background go to the animation slide enable the animation pane i'm going to select this image here which we have added then i'm going to say a wipe effect wipe maybe you can make it from right or left it's up to you okay and then select this image again and then i'm going to add one more animation so go to the add animation you should not go and choose the animation from here again if you want to add otherwise it will overwrite the existing animation so if you would like to add uh, more than one animation you need to go to add animation here okay and here i'm going to select the teeter all right and then double click this one first of all make it with previous double click this one timings i'm going to make it a medium and until end of the slide and click ok and if i click you can see here it looks like this all right so now as i said depending on the requirement you can add multiple colors as well 